Hey everyone, Eamon here, back with another, uh, I mean, not even really another, I guess my, my probably my first, like, MMA slash UFC, like, reaction video, I guess. I, I've done a bunch of reactions to, like, fights, but this is more of an actual, um, highlight video, I guess, if that makes sense. Um, I might have done one for, did I do one for Ilya Teporia? I might have done a video on Teporia, like, when he won the title, but... Yeah, I've been pretty lackluster with my... I, I was planning to do more uploads like this where it's like highlights and like just videos about certain fighters instead of just just like reacting to like the UFC events that happened. So yeah, we'll check this one out. This is... Um, this was re uh, re requested by one of my buddies. He's like a big, big uh, into UFC and stuff a lot more than me. So he told me about this guy. He said he's sick. He said he was going to be like one of the best ever and he just had some health issues or something like that. So very curious to check this guy out. Uh, make sure to drop a sub, drop a like, comment your thoughts below. Let me know who else to check out, what else to check out, all that stuff. Um, yeah, let's just hop into it. All right. Yeah, so this guy, I feel, I think he said he had like health problems, but he was like really, really good when he when he was uh, when he was healthy. Um, but yeah, so it's called. Or his name is Z Zabit Zabit Mago Medsharipov Magomed. We'll find out in the video, I'm sure. I'm terrible with names. But it's uh, When Striking Becomes Art, and it's by Marshall Lamb. Uh, make sure to sub to this guy, like his video. Go do that right now, actually. Uh, link, link in the description. Um, yeah, let's just, let's just see what this is about, see what this guy's about. Definitely a big fan of Strikers, so. Zabit. Yeah, I don't think I've seen this guy fight. I don't think I really followed UFC much when this guy was involved, but we'll, we'll see for sure here. Apologies if I do have to mute. I'm going to mute some audio throughout the video at, at times, too. Yeah, I think he's like mid-2010s is when he was active, mainly. Okay, I see him ranked 5 there. His kicks look insane. Ouch. He's just a little out gun right now. Have to adjust to that with feints by moving in and out. Nice stong him with that one. Man, okay, his, his leg kicks are wild. He does inside and outside. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, so we've only seen leg kicks so far. Whoa, what the hell? He's like jumping off the fence. Oh. Oh. Jesus. Dude, what? That's crazy. His call, he has like button combos. Yeah, his. Okay, that, that's sorry. I'm trying to think of what he reminds me of anyone, but he doesn't really. Like the kicks are just like wild. Oh man. Yeah, d let me know if he does remind you guys of anyone else in the comments because I can't think of anyone else that like kicks like this like it's like he I mean this is obviously just showcasing his leg kicks at the moment I think or his kicking ability at the moment but yeah this like he's using his like, yeah he's using his legs as as like arms that's crazy that was that would have been illegal I think but Oh my god. You can see how he's trying to pull on his front kick. The beat with his footwork and movement is really optimizing that. Left front leg. Oh man. Jeez. Phenomenal high kick there. Got a real pronounced jab and an excellent switch. Okay, I, I kind of want to see his hands now. This has been like his kicks are just like. <laughs> I'm assuming his hands are going to be just as good, but we'll find out, I guess. He's not chasing, he's be careful. This is where the good, when he gets you chasing. To set up your power. With more than two or three, you got to throw a lot of combinations to get inside that tall guy, but easier 
easier said than done. His last eight victories. I haven't recognized anyone he's fought, which is unfortunate. But... Yeah, man. These kicks, they look so hard. Oh my god. Oh, he's like... Jesus. Just bobbing and weaving, trying to punch. Whereas, she needs to be moving into the power punch. Now it's on the main card. And again, I like the fact that Bob oh, Mayer is the one that's fighting him. This kid's a stud. Look at him. Is he going to get KO'd in a second? <laughs> He's like showboating. It's an interesting the Bochniak guy. Oh, oh, man. Okay, now, now it's the spinning, spinning, uh, spinning punches now, elbows. Jeez. Oh, Katar, okay, I recognize Katar. Katar? Katar? Oh. Yeah, he's, he's still active, I think, right? Or he, maybe he's just winding down? This is like old footage, surely. Yeah, it's Calvin Qatar, I think. Calvin Cater. I don't think I know him. Davis, I don't know. Yeah, how, I don't even know Stevens. Who's hmm, Stevens is ranked six? I don't recognize that name at all. Jeremy Stevens, they said? No. Doesn't really ring a bell. Jeez. Oh man. So far it doesn't seem like he has like his power doesn't seem that like I mean, maybe maybe this is just before the it shows the knockouts and stuff, but his striking is definitely insane. It is too much. It's like knocking out guys, but lots of people. Obviously, you can win without just like winning decisions with strikes. Obviously, yeah. Jeez, he just like destroys the body. Would his style maybe work better in like five round fights? Oh, that was a crazy uppercut. Yeah, jeez. Yeah, I kind of feel like the style maybe, be, maybe because there isn't as much. Actually, could it be because of his his weight too, the weight class? I forget if there's. Isn't it generally like the lighter you are, the lighter the weight class that does like less knockouts or something? Maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong about that. But. I feel like a style would probably work well in a five round fight. Because the amount of damage he's doing to like the body and stuff would wear a guy down by the end. He's crazy exciting though. This is sick. Ooh, man. Okay, yeah, that guy's face is smashed really. Oh man. And it's Arsenal's full Joe because he switches and he's always giving you a different look. Right now these guys are trading for everybody last 17 seconds. He's just the yeah, they're they straight up trading. That's crazy. That's, <laughs> that's sick. Oh he did a little show up. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that was crazy. I'm assuming that Bosnia guy probably didn't amount to much, but that was a sick ending. Jeez. Oh, there's a there's a knockout. Nice. Zabit. 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 Yeah. Oh. Jeez. Oh, is he giving up? Oh yeah, like that guy just gave up. <laughs> oh my god. 
Yeah, that guy's probably not in the same class. Jeez, yeah. There's a knockout again. Same one, yeah. Jeez. Oh. He's got a submission. Zabit exercising some patience here, softening Davis up. He's gonna shake oh, him off. this happens again. Oh, look at this. Oh, he's got a banana split. <laughs> what is that? Exhaustive work as well. So I'm like really, I don't know a lot about the grappling stuff in, in MMA, but that is hilarious. But this guy, but this, look at that. <laughs> that is a wild looking submission. That is insane. Really quick, he's right on that attack. Okay, so he actually does end up getting submissions. Okay. This is debut. I guess he, he uses striking to batter them and then eventually he gets on top and can submit them. There you go. Damn. Alright. Well that was pretty sick. Let me uh let's take a look at the comments and then we will do a um Jeez, yeah, let's take a look at the comments and then we will do a uh i like doing this with whenever i like react to, like a, a fighter or like a player in the sport and stuff I, I go on wikipedia after and they take a look at their uh the career and all that stuff uh but yeah seeing all of this and knowing he can wrestle devastating <laughs> i can't have favorite fighters anymore there are just too many these days yeah if he retires they'll be heartbroken i am heartbroken we miss you true definition of flow state everything is just natural he's truly gifted the grandmaster of mma sad he retired yeah, it's fighting sounds way very hard to keep up with keep up with. Yeah, one of the most spectacular strikers UFC history. Yeah. He's like the career character he ranked all the way up and unlocked the moves for in UFC. Yeah. Um Moon uh yeah. If he improves his power and cardio is unbeatable. Yeah. Yeah, the power the power is the main thing I was noticing. It didn't seem like he had the, the greatest power. But like I said, it doesn't really, like, you're still going to win if you're out striking guys like that that much. Like, you're still going to win the fights. There's just not as much um, knockout, like, highlights, I guess. But that that would be, like, his highlight reel is still sick, though, without without having the knockout, really. Like, he's he's such a good, um, it's like he made he made his fights exciting in, in that video, at least. Um, yeah, anyways, okay, let's take a look at his, his Wikipedia, because I don't know what happened to him exactly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he got injured, but let's see. And I also would like to know how to say his name properly, but... Megomedsharapov? Megomedsharapov? Yeah, some, something like that. I don't know. Okay, anyways, okay. Um, Russian former professional mixed martial artist, competed in the featherweight division of UFC, absolute championship, and and he was the champion there. Okay. Uh, oh, he's... He's Dagestani, okay. Um, his younger brother. Is his younger brother any good? 24. Oh, he's 10 and 0. Wonder if we'll see him in the UFC at some point. I feel like that's probably will be a thing. If his brother was that good, he might have a little inside track to get in there. Anyways. Um, started to train freestyle wrestling 11 years old, then Sonda. Uh, he joined the five direction of the world uh, fighting. Is this where all the Dagestani guys go to? It's like a school based around fighting, based around martial arts, I mean. Uh, notable alumni. No, okay, it's not, not the same one. There's this guy, um, Megamedov. I, I've seen him fight. So he, he's, in a, he's in the UFC and he's got a gold medal. Okay, so that's cool. This is like an actual. Uh, we're in a boarding school for like martial arts in school. That's kind of cool. Um, okay. He spent six and zero in the ACB. Signed a four fight deal UFC, and then let's just look at this really quick. So UFC. Mike Santiago. Don't know who this is, but subbed him. Ran a choke. Shimon Mores. Subbed him. Anaconda choke. Uh, Kyle Bostianke. Okay, we saw that one. This is unanimous. Uh, Brandon Davis submission, Jeremy Stevens decision unanimous, Calvin K. Katara, yeah, Katara, I definitely recognize. So he ended up being, let's see, he was expected to fight Yair Rodriguez. Okay, I, I've seen him fight, but he pulled out because of Davis. Um, yeah, he was, uh, 
he got injured before facing guitar, so they changed the fight and they they rescheduled it. And he won. Scheduled to face Yar, he but he, Yar pulled out again. Okay. He was ranked number three in twenty twenty two or twenty twenty one when he got um when he yeah he got removed from the UFC rankings during activity. Reported that he was suffering from health issues related to his immune system, which ultimately required career threatening surgery. Then they announced he'd be coming soon, and then he retired at age thirty one. Okay, and now he's coaching his brother. Okay, okay, cool. So he he's his brother's coach. That's cool. That's good. And the next best thing, he, if he can get his brother to uh to the same level as him, that would be sick. Looks like he is he fighting fighting out of New Jersey now. I wonder if he lives there now. He lives in Mac Macacola. Yeah. I'm not sure where that is. Where is that? In Dagestan. Okay. All right. Well, that was a cool. That was a cool little video to watch there. Um. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so we'll wrap that up. Um. Yeah. Make sure to leave some comments below about other fighters I should check out. Um. Yeah. I'm not like I'm. I'm pretty. I'm pretty familiar with most of the guys that are active now. Like in the UFC, at least. I'm pretty. I'm pretty like. Not like the super like know about all of them but like i'm pretty pretty good with knowing most of the stuff going on but definitely like guys that i might have missed the past 10 years past 20 years even of guys that, that i should check out like there's there's got to be a ton there's gonna be a ton of guys that were just sick that like maybe didn't quite get to the championship level or for, for various reasons or whatever but um yeah so let me know in the comments what guys i should, should check out and then yeah let me know what your thoughts are on zabit because yeah my, like my buddy was saying he was like basically on track to be like one of the best ever if he would have um stayed healthy like he was definitely going to be fighting for a title soon and then probably would have been champ and i is featherweight the same as is that um featherweight ufc is that like Bilal and oh no featherweight okay featherweight's Taporia right now okay Taporia and Volk okay so he probably would have been going up against Volk then Volk and Holloway and stuff are the guys he would have been going up against and then Taporia so that would have been cool if you met dude is featherweight the most stacked division like this seems insane man what else is or lightweight's pretty stacked too yeah lightweight actually I mean there's a lot of blade classes that are stacked but yeah like Volk Taporia Holloway Jeez, yeah. There's a lot of. Oh, there's Kokatar still there. He's ranked ten. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Let, let, let me know how you think he would have done against these guys at the top right now. Because I mean, he looked pretty sick. He definitely didn't seem like he has the knockout power that they do. But like he, yeah, he looked he looked nasty. So yeah. Um. All right. We'll wrap up there. Make sure to drop a sub, drop a like, comment your thoughts below. All that stuff. Um. I think. Do I have a? I have a Discord as well. I don't think I have a, a UFC or MMA section set up in there, but maybe I'll do that. Um, so if you want to hop in there, you can. Um, there may or may not be a, a UFC section in there at, at the time you join, but we'll get one eventually, I guess. Um, all right. Thanks for watching.